everyone in this video i'm gonna create some tutorial to export data from firebase collection to csv so first thing first uh you have to own your collection firebase in this case i will select the user collection and after that you have to decide it uh, what fields that you want to export to the CSV and in this case I want to ex export email phone and name after that um, on custom code you have to create one custom action and for now up to you and next step is you have to add a pop spec dependency and then click a reload button and for the arguments you have to add one argument with type is document from the collection that you want to export and check for is list and nullable and then uh, copy paste the code I will put my custom code on github so you can easily copy paste In, and this custom code is um, uh, you just you just need to change with your uh, fields from your collection maybe I will show uh, the example how to I create the custom action action and gsv2 and for the dependency pass to the download and the version and reload for the argument select document from users and check for uses and label after that uh, you have to choose boilerplate and copy editor save and we will put the code from the existing one And click save if everything is okay there is no error and bug click uh, compile button it may be a tag uh, long time depends by your spec of your device and internet connection I think
okay uh, the green the checklist with the green color so it's mean everything's good and after that we jump to patch on the patch I create uh, some button and on the button click backend query and I will put some backend query on the button which uh, query type is query collection collection from user and for the type is list you can uh, do some filter if you want to show for specifically collection that you want to export and after that on the action uh, select custom action and select that custom action that we just create and don't forget to parsing the parameter from backend query that we just create okay and gonna try to run Okay, I'm going to click download CSV. I'll get one file, and you can see we are successfully create or export data to the CSV file. So, I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.